When I was 14, I believed in a story of two armoured cruisers sailing towards the South Atlantic with an aim to sink a German crack gunnery squadron and sailing with a majority crew of reservists. However, fast forward some nine years, and specifically to last week, and to find my amazement at looking at crew lists for two of these ships, and then finding out that what I was taught through videos, through literature, and through generic history, that everything I was told about the crew of these ships was a lie. You see, the two ships in question are HMS Good Hope and HMS Monmouth. Now, as most of you probably know, I am very close to HMS Monmouth. You see, I grew up near the town of Monmouth. I'm part of the Monmouth Royal Naval Association. I know Monmouth's story inside and out. So much so, I've given briefs on HMS Monmouth and her story, and specifically spoke about Coronel to people who wanted me to go speak about Coronel to them. And the fact that even up to most recently, I always believed that that crew list of 738 personnel were mostly reservists. But you can imagine my my shock and horror and my surprise when actually in reality, of those 738 personnel, eight personnel were Royal Navy Reserve and 69 of them were Coast Guard ratings. So if you think about it, that's 77 personnel out of 738, which is just over 10% of the crew were reservist. So I don't exactly understand where this big, massive myth of Monmouth sailed with a mostly majority reservist crew. It might have stemmed from the fact that she was in the reserve fleet after getting back from the China station and then obviously the First World War starting and the ships mobilised. Same thing for Good Hope. She was in the reservist fleet not for long prior to the First World War. I think she had seven reservists and maybe 10 to 15 Coast Guard ratings on board. I mean, she had a more sizable crew than Monmouth, and that's not a sizable amount of the crew. So I'm not too sure exactly where these myths come from. Maybe it's any way of trying to justify the reason why both ships were sunk. Or maybe it's just a whole of the fact that they came out of a reservist fleet. Who really knows? But that's my take on that myth. Hopefully, history will be put right, and we can actually learn about the proper history, not the myth. Is there any myths that you can think of in the naval realm that you believe are incorrect? Let me know in the comment section below. Take care, folks. Have a good one. I'll see you later.